Telecom TV. Telecom TV. Where I see it is. Which next? Watching Telecom TV. Hello, you're watching Telecom TV. My name is Martin Warwick. We're here at Apps World in Earls Court in London, and I'm talking with Brian Ahern of Parker, Wayne and Kent. Brian, you're welcome. In fact, you're um, privileged because normally we wouldn't give uh, house room to a PR agent in front of the camera, as you're well aware. So um, it's unusual on both sides of the coin, but you have actually, within your company, changed your practices to allow for payment over mobile. It's remarkable. Tell us about it. Sure. I mean, well, we work with a lot of mobile uh, and kind of internet companies as well, which, you know, there's a, a, it's, a, it's a service industry that people provide a billing service for. We bill by the second, in fact, by the minute, uh, in essence. And so we type, use technology to time all of our work by the minute, and they get billed for that very transparently. Other than, you see, there's an ethical point as well as a business point. One is because it means that we're able to sell our services in a way that's more meaningful to people. Um, in, in terms that they understand for a service industry. Two, it actually creates much more billing flexibility um, in, a, in a very difficult economic market where people don't, aren't able to say, I want to spend X thousand pounds with a PR company and not necessarily know what I'm gonna get in return. So they're able to control their budgets much more effectively. And in this economy, it should be much more about trying to save money, not just spend it. The final reason, is actually it's about ethics. PR companies, and having worked in some previously, um, there's ethical quandaries about PR, which is one of the reasons why you're a bit concerned about putting this in front of the camera. But you know, I like to run an ethical organization. And I believe that if you pay us money, we should work for it. And that means we're able to give transparent timesheets. So by billing by the minute, by recording every second of work that we do, we're able to give tra clients transparent timesheets to show the value for money we offer. And what has the effect been on your clients? Uh, well, it's been great because it's increased the diversity of our clients, um, the, the number of clients, because they're also, people are able to come in and take PR as a, a cost-effective option. They're actually finding they don't have to commit thousands of pounds per month to us. We're at some, some months, they pay hardly anything, if, if at all. It's important for us to have a meeting at least to stay on top of things. But really, you know, that, doesn't, that means that they're not committing masses of budget over a year or per month. So the diversity of clients has increased, the number, the absolute number has increased, but also the, the types of work has changed. So particularly on the pay-as-you-go option, we're doing much more what we call strategic consultancy and actually helping clients to do their own PR. So having PR professionals and trained journalists actually guide people to do the public relations process because it's not totally rocket science. And what about the reactions of your rivals and the rest of the industry? I take it you're a bit of a pariah. Well, I would like, I would like to see other agencies follow the model in some ways, which might be strange, but I think it would offer greater value for money. Um, I think that the industry itself would gain a better reputation because people do you know, have bad opinion of public relations people. It's not quite quantifiable. I don't really know what the value for money is. Where's the return on investment? Um, I think it would be a better way for the industry to work so that people can buy, I want a press release, let's work on that as a bundle option. Let's, I want ongoing monthly public relations, okay, that's your monthly contract. I don't know how much public relations I need every month. Let's work on a pay-as-you-go option. You just set a budget and we work, we work within your budget. But you are breaking ranks with the rest of the industry. Yeah, well, I should hope so. That's what anybody within any industry should be doing. It's and particularly my industry should be creative and doing innovations. Um, it's sadly not seen as much as you should hope. And you've also created an app. How does it work? We do a few apps, basically, and we PR them, and we can, you know, it's obviously public relations for apps. Their, their option is to do mobile advertising, and that can be quite expensive. Um, by using public relations, they can start getting downloads because people read about their app, whether it's online or in the papers, or they you know, hear about it on TV. And um, so we are just doing a soft launch for an app today, a personal finance type app, a price comparison app called Skinflint. It's yeah. tech-focused price comparison, yeah. and it enables you to search by specification so that you buy the technology you actually need and want. You don't pay over the odds for technology you don't need. Um, but also, you can shop by barcode. You can scan and you know compare prices um, like that, or you can just type in the type of product or the brand name and find products like that. 
Um, and it compares prices from 850 stores around the UK, or retailers around the UK, I should say. And you can find the shop closest to you with the cheapest price. I can hit root, and there it is. It's showing me now through Google Maps how I get to the store. Brian Ahern, thank you. Telecom TV, where ICT connects.